Hi everybody, I just wanted to give you all a quick tip that I haven't seen anybody else show yet with the Ecamm 3.9 but this has become available for us to do with the latest updates. Um, essentially it is the ability to create secondary borders and drop shadows. Now I know some of you might have seen my previous um, post showing how to do that with solid blocks of colour but you can actually now do that with an Ecamm and I want to show you very quickly how to do that. So here we are in Ecamm with a single camera overlay and I'm going to jump into demo mode to show the rest of this, how, how you actually do it. So we're in demo mode and you can see that I've got my own camera overlay here and um, I want to give a secondary border around the outside of this overlay. So what I can do is just go to here first and if I just zoom in for a second I'll show you that obviously what we can do here is adjust the corner radius of the picture window, the camera window, so I can make that more rounded at the corners as we see. Now you can use any camera, any shape here that you like. Um, it, yeah, you just can. So, but I'm going to keep it on the, uh, the wide shape here. Obviously what else we can do is we can adjust the border width so that you see takes the border into a thicker area and, and kind of reduces the size of the image from the camera. I'll just leave it on 10 just for the time being. Um, and we could uh, also just choose to have square corners at some point if we wanted to. Um, so that's also available to you. So there's no restrictions here. You can also, if you hold down the Alt key, click in and drag these sides in. Now these are, this is a new feature within version 3.9, so you can do that as well. However, just for this demonstration, I'm going to leave it exactly as it is. So let's just come back out. What I want to show you is that we can build a secondary border around the outside of the image showing me right now. And the way that I suggest you do it is to go into the sh screen share overlay. Now that's at the bottom, obviously in this area here, and it's this, this icon here says new screen share overlay. So if you click on that, that brings up a new window. You can see that here. And it happens to be that it's opened up in the wide um, aspect ratio that actually matches the image that I'm talking to you from. So what I can do is I can simply drag that larger if I wanted to and put it over myself there if I wanted to do that. What we can see is that we've got this black uh, inner area and the white surround. So what I'm going to do is go, I'm going to click on the uh, the little pencil icon. I wonder if I, if uh, in, just zooming in a touch might be helpful here. So if I click on that, I'll change the border color. That's this little button here. So in my color window, I will just choose uh, something, let's say this purple kind of color. So that's changed this outer border to, uh, to purple. And again, I can still adjust the border width. So you might understand what I can easily do is put this right below the image of me. So let's show you that effect. So in the overlays window, this screen share, I can simply drag it below the image that's showing me. And I can now put that there. Let me just move that out of the way. That seems to have locked itself in, in position. And there we are. There we have a border. And you can see the same thing is showing on the program window. So there you can actually see in the program window how the border really looks. So that's one way of adding a border. Now, if you wanted to, you could grab it and make it a bit bigger and kind of stretch it out 
and then use your alt key to drag in the sides just to make it fit really nicely. So that's really a very good way of adding a border that actually has rounded edges as well. Now one of the clever things of course is that you can roll over it with your cursor, hold down the shift key and fade that out if you wanted to. So you can fade the colors also. And there's kind of no limit to the amount of uh, additional borders that you can add into the uh, into your design here. So I could put two or three here by doing that. So this is the screen share overlay. But what I want to do, I just want to show you that if I drag it down, we've still got this black area inside. And I've what I'll do is I'll just uh, thin out the border width for a second. What you can do is if you say show um, the current application, which is essentially Ecamm Live, if I go current application and then I switch on green screen key here. So let me just zoom into this area for you. Sorry for being, being a bit uh, lively there. If I click on that green screen key, watch what happens in this black area. It becomes completely transparent. So then I could even have the um, the transparent overlay over top of my window and adjust it that way, as you see. Now, obviously, getting the corner radius is a, is a good idea to try to get that to all nicely match up. But you can see that it's actually quite good to be able to do that as well. And obviously, if you want to make the border width thicker, you can. Ideally, I think the idea is the best thing would be to have this screen share overlay below the, um, the, the, the camera window, essentially. So that's one thing. The next thing that you might not have thought of is um, to make it a drop, drop shadow. So if I just drag this back out again, if I click on here and make the color Let's just go here to the grayscale sliders. Let's make it kind of 75% gray. Move that behind. Manipulate the um, border to a position where you might think a drop shadow might just fall. And you can manipulate it that way. And if you think that this is too dark, Remember, you can just roll over it, make sure the hand appears and then shift scroll up to fade it a bit more so you can get a realistic drop shadow on your uh, on your designs. So that might quite, kind of work quite nicely for you. I just want to just move it out just to show what I can do. Just going to move it out here and move it back just so that it becomes a little bit more realistic and I'll use the alt drag just to take that in and there we have a drop shadow so I hope you've enjoyed this is a bit longer than I wanted it to be um, but uh, that's the way that that would all work for you multiple borders and a drop shadow functionality as well all from the screen share overlay good luck bye now